Guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got something super, super special. Behind me, 2022 Porsche Panamera E-Hybrid 4. Okay, this thing's pushing 450 horsepower plus, electric hybrid assist, ultra comfort, ultra luxury, ultra style, ultra performance. So come with me, we're gonna do a little zip around, try and do a, you know as much of a, a review as we possibly can. There's a lot to so, sort of go through with this car. So um, I'm not gonna get, it's not gonna be 100% full on review, uh, but I'm gonna do my best to really provide you with a, you know, a full little sort of walk around drive and um, experience of this absolutely beautiful sort of CEO, um, you know, high level Porsche. Okay, let's take a look. Let's get into her. This wouldn't be a car review without an on-ramp pull. Let's go. Here we go. And I pass. All right, here we go guys, take a look. Absolutely gorgeous 2022 Porsche Panamera E-Hybrid. You can tell the E-Hybrid, the special, you know, sort of performance line, highest trim by the acid green calipers. We're even getting some nice green sort of, I don't know if that's white light or, or green or meant to look a little bit green. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's got sort of green tendencies, green um, accents. Um, the E-Hybrid here, very reminiscent uh, catches people's eye right away. You know that that this is something special as soon as you see that. So this one is probably the nicest spec that I've ever seen. It's you know kind of call it obsidian black. It's very like jet black with um, with just nice little sort of chrome tidbits on the rims, right? Um, coming around, you know, just chrome finished off on on the Porsche badging, right? Which almost looks like it's like kind of away from the body a little bit. All right, it looks like it's kind of hovering there. It's got the nice light strip that goes right across, right, when you're driving. Quad exhausts, really girthy, deep exhausts, right, all done in black. Um, and this one, as we come around, you're gonna see in a second that it's um, a gorgeous, gorgeous spec in the interior, finishing a nice sort of deep cherry red. So as I said before, this is an absolutely beautiful spec. Got the bucket seats there. You got the infotainment system, all new Porsche infotainment system in here. You got your, your chrono clock there. I can't even begin, guys, to start getting into all the technology of this vehicle. Like, take a look at that. Come around to the trunk or to the uh, back seat. Another screen back here for your passengers, right? If you've got your kids and they're a little bit too cold, too hot, they can adjust things. Um, and there's just endless, endless stuff. They even have, they even have media. Um, abilities everything is touchscreen it's just this car is first class un unbelievable uh, in terms of 
speaker systems and um, and music quality. There's over 20 speakers, uh, Burmeister speakers in this vehicle, just pumping the music, pumping the music. So you're sitting in a beautiful luxury vehicle that is pushing 450 horsepower plus. Um, and you can really rock out to your your sound system, which is which is so nice. It's such a good vibe Really really been loving my time with this car Okay, so as I give you a little bit more of a walk around here and you can just just feast your eyes on the beauty of this vehicle and it the the solid strong girth and Aggressive stance that it has I'll give you a few um, sort of specifications, right? Okay, so this one sort of MSRP's at 105 grand US. That's kind of that's getting you in the door, right? These cars, when you when you start to option them up, there the options are plentiful, and I'm pretty sure this one's spec'd very very highly. I don't have the exact price point, but spec'd very highly. You can get into one for 105 grand. Um, the range, not when it's when it's fully electric, when it's working on full electric mode, which is so cool. You can go from a big V8 engine to all electric if you want if you don't want to annoy your neighbors if you're going into your country club you can be just silent or if you're just going to get some groceries and you want to be as efficient with fuel prices and not worry about that too much you have that option the electric um, assist or excuse me the electric engine will only get you 19 miles but i mean that's 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 quite a bit of, of, of distance so 480 mile total with the combustion engine uh 19 miles for the electric mode Okay, 450 horsepower, as I said, uh, we're, sorry, I said it was a, a, an eight cylinder. It's a 2.9 liter V6, okay? Eight speed automatic. This thing's all wheel drive. Uh, just under curb weight, just under 5,000 pounds, okay? So when I'm driving it and you're gonna, you're gonna, we're gonna experience this together, you do feel the heaviness of it, but there's just so much power that you don't really stress about about the, the, the girth here, the heaviness, because it just goes. And it goes really, really smoothly. I drive a C63S, and when I pick it up, when I start to get after it, I can feel the bumps a lot more. I can, you know, I can hear the engine a little bit more rasping, and it's it's more of a it's not as smooth. It's not done as as refined as this, and that's what I really love about about Porsche and, and Panamera in in particular. It's everything is done very very refined and very smooth and elegantly, and it's um, that's one thing I really really noticed when I when I've been driving this car. And I've only had it for about an hour. I've been driving it around for a little for about an hour. So as I said, um, yeah, about about five thousand pounds. Seating capacity is four, obviously. Um, you know, four-year warranty, uh, 50,000 mile basic warranty, um, four-year, 50,000 mile um, powertrain, and um, yeah, you can, you know, you obviously can spec it up. You could, you could, you can go V8. You can go all the way up to I think something like 600 horsepower. There's a couple other little models here that you could that you can get into. Um, there's a there's a four e hybrid uh, four executive. There's a four S. There's a four platinum edition. Um, there's a four S executive. There's the turbo S, and then there's the turbo S executive. So there's there you know this obviously being the e hybrid, it's the top level. But then there's a lot of a lot of trim levels within the trim level. So I don't know if that's Porsche's way of really milking you, but this is this is the real deal. This this thing is absolutely mean. Like, just take a look at the the girthiness at the back here, the stance of it, how it bulges back here. Like, that's a huge, huge bulge. Look at this stance. When we're looking back at it, right? Take a look at that nice, like, nice bum, nice back end. It's really, really good looking. Really good looking. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the trunk space, right? Because this is kind of like. It's almost like a hatchback the way it's designed. So it, it allows for a lot of lot of uh, trunk space. So let's have a let's have a quick little look see here. So just a couple more little specs here, guys, before we open up the the trunk. Okay. So we're working with a 17.9 kilowatt lithium ion battery. Uh, battery charge time three hours at 22 or excuse me 220 volts. Uh, the car is 400 horsepower. Its combustion engine is 455 horsepower, 516 foot-pounds of torque. So before we open it up, let's just take a look at the key here. Boom, we got the key. All your sort of functions. Beautiful Porsche logo there. Love the Porsche logo. There's the back. Emergency alarm. There, let's just hit that. Open her up. And you'll see the, tr the amount of trunk space here. 
Look at this, we've got a ton of stuff here. We've got a big, big squash bag, nether bag, right? Bunch of little odds and ends, and there's still tons and tons of space. You could put a bunch of golf club sets in there, right? Without stressing at all, right? Clearance to get your groceries and stuff up is not too, it's not too high, not a big deal, right? Nice and easy. It's a real cool look how they can take such a luxurious sort of executive car and design it so efficiently that it's got a hatchback uh, capacity where it's where you can really get a lot of stuff in it. It's really, really well designed. Let's shut her down. We'll take a look at the interior. Nice soft touch doors as well. All right, so coming around, the piece de resistance. You got your Panamera 4 kick plates here. One of 20, I believe it's 25 Burmeister sound uh, uh, speakers, all in beautiful aluminum, beautiful aluminum. I love the fit and finish here. Not such a big fan on the gloss black. I think it does look nice when it's clean. This is, it's obviously this is perfectly clean right now. I really do wish carbon fiber was always an option um, or even just a bit more chrome, but this looks absolutely gorgeous, right? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. You got your all your, your regular sort of stuff right good solid build quality right nice nice high high quality soft touch leathers beautiful cherry red i love the red all of your door controls everything you need gorgeous bucket seats here right that are actually super super comfortable and when you're sitting in the these seats you can truly feel the, the quality of them, the, like they feel like they bolster you in really nicely. Let me flip this around. I really feel like I'm bolstered in nicely. It's gripping me on my sides here, there, and there. All right, I've got my headrest here, all right, it's back. That's really, really plush here. That's very plush. Just feels really, really nice. Everywhere I look, I'm seeing high quality um, materials. Everywhere I look, steering wheel, beautiful leather, right? Everything you need at your fingertips, right? Eye pass button all your drive modes. Right now we're in e-power mode. You can see that, bang. Uh, hybrid auto, so it's it's shifting between gasoline and, and uh, electric when it thinks that it wants to save money. So we're going down a hill, it's gonna flip over, right? It's gonna, it's gonna start uh, regenerating your battery a little bit, right? Super, super intuitive system here. Go over and we start to get into the little bit sort of playful modes with the engine. Sport, then Sport Plus is obviously your, your bonkers mode, right? I-Pass, you give it a little shot when you're on the, the freeway or some of that, or if you need to get in and out of traffic and it gives you that extra, almost like a little nitrous oxide to your engine. It gives you that extra little, I wanna say extra, I guess it gives you the full amount of uh, your, your horsepower and torque. It's probably pulling from the electric engine a little bit, but it gives you that extra little pull. So just coming around, the key here is, I find this really interesting, it's just a set key, it's always there. It's, it's always in, so that's your ignition. You just you put your foot on the brake, you turn it, bang. But that works separately to the actual key. This is the fob that you have to have in the interior of the car, but this is always sitting here. It goes back, it pays homage to the old racing, um, old race car racing where they would have to run to the car and it would take too much time to come all the way to this side, put your key in or you know, have to turn it here. So everything has always been with Porsche on the left side. So it's, it's just saving time between going here and to this side. It's just a little bit quicker to go boom, straight from the left side. So it's always been that, been that way. Um, but looking around, this is all brand new Porsche technology, right? It looks gorgeous. Uh, you got all your flat screens. This is all touch stuff, right? You got your drive modes. You can go in there and manipulate that stuff. Everything's touch. Everything's gorgeous in here. Got the car. Just kind of fill around with it a little bit. You can go home. There's your big screen. Where was that? Let's go bring the maps back up, right? You can pinch right you can pinch it out and it works like an iphone it's it's so intuitive it's so quick right really really good system here you got your chrono clock right in case you're doing lap times which you're probably not in this car this is too luxurious it's too it's too precious to be doing lap times um the owner of this car has a, a, his inv individual button right here you hit this and boom the wing at the back comes up and uh and it bangs into sport plus or sport mode and, uh, and you can get after it. So all the all the creature comforts, everything you need here um, at the touch of your, your fingers, right? We got our source here. We've got our media if we want to, all right? We've got our apps that we can get into. Oh, sorry. Yeah. 
everything's just very, very intuitive and very quick. So I'll take you a little tour here, just not to get into this too, too much, but lots of space in there. You can just whack that down, right? Beautiful sunroof up top, right? That goes all the way back. You can open the back bit as well or the front bit, whichever you prefer. If you want your, your front passengers to have a bit of sun, but your back ones don't, you have that option. It's divided into two pieces, right? Just super, super cool. Um, that's all done by this little bit here. Fairly complicated, but once you know what you're doing, it's, you know, it's, you've got a lot of options here. Options are good, right? Bang, nice and easy. You can pull it back. Give her one more there, yep and she opens up nicely. Very good. All right, so let's let's jump in the back seat here and this is one of the really really big selling points to the Panamera is the this the absolute amazing spatial sort ofness of this. Like the back seat has so much capacity. I'm sitting back here, okay? And I'm 6 I'm 6 feet I've been sitting up front, so this is all the way back, and I've got so much foot space here, so much foot space. My knees are basically there, right? Look how much room I've got here. My head, tons and tons of room, tons of room. And then when I look down, I've got literally like an iPad looking thing at my disposal, right? I've got media if I needed it. I don't think that was optioned out, but I have media, I have climate, um, I have heated and cooled seats. There's just so much I can do back here. I can plug in my um, my uh, iPod. I've got stuff to put my uh, my cups and everything here, right? I can put that out. There's more storage, right? Or I can just put my hand on this beautiful leather as we drive, right? And then I'm looking up to the captain's chairs and I'm just, everywhere I look is just absolutely gorgeous. Everything I touch is just so, so nice just so nice there's another speaker you got more climate control there on the side more there right you even got lights here if you need them right which is that's a nice little feature bucket seats in the back as well right they don't splurge and just get bucket seats in the front they give you bucket seats in the back too so four beautiful bucket seats um and then just looking around Looking around, some more Burmeister sound system, right? Burmeister speakers. Again, there's over 20 of them in the cockpit. It's just a beautiful, beautiful place to be in this in this car. Sitting around just in, in absolute sort of awe. It's just so gorgeous. I think it's time for us to get it out on the road and um, and give it a little drive. See how she drives. Okay. Um, in this review, I'm trying to cover as much as I can in a short period of time. So if there's anything I missed, I would love you guys to, to comment. If you're an owner or if you're inspired to, to uh, you're motivated to buy one of these cars, let me know. What do you, what are your experiences been with, with this car? What, what are, you know, are, are there some cool stuff in the, in the infotainment system that it does? What has your experience been with the, the iPass button there? Do you like to drive it in, in electric mode all the time? Do you like the hybrid um, option where it's back and forth? Or are you like kind of like me where you're a Sport Plus guy all the time? Do you use your paddle shifters or or don't you? Like there's just endless options with, with this car. You can do so many different things and that's why it's such an amazing vehicle, right? It's so versatile. It can be very monotone, very quiet and composed and elegant. Or with the flick of a switch, you get your wing going up at the back and you've got your big engine and, and your, you know, your absolute torque, immediate torque, and it's, it can be a monster you know, where no other car is, is faster than you on the road. So very, very cool car. Um, I think it's now the time that we jump in the, in the front seat and uh, have a little go in and have a little spin, see how, she, uh, how composed she is on the road. Okay, so before we get on the road, let's do a couple exhaust uh, notes here, okay? I'm gonna set it up behind and uh, we're gonna do a couple pulls and see what, uh, what uh, this, this bad boy sounds like when she's, uh, when she's revving. Okay, so we're in the car here. We're about to do a little, couple of little exhaust pulls, but I want you to listen out there. You can hear that nice engine. Let's get a couple from the interior. So it's got a limiter on it, which is not a big deal. It doesn't give, give you that much. So I don't know if you can hear the difference, but when we're in, when we're in e power, the engine's very quiet, very docile. And then let me flick it twice. Listen. You can hear the, the revs come up a little bit. Sport Plus, then it's starting to prepare itself for a little bit of uh, crazy driving. So let's go out back and let's do a couple, um, couple exhaust notes.
So here we are, we're in the Porsche Panamera E-Hybrid. Unbelievable vehicle. Uh, we're gonna take it for a little drive, okay? So we'll start it off in um, E-Hybrid mode or E-Power mode, full electric. And we'll just, um, we'll cruise out of this little um, little parking lot here in complete quiet mode. Okay, we're just gonna cruise, you know, real sophisticated, you know, not causing any uh, any uh, drama to anybody. Just kind of doing its thing, nice and quiet, right? E-power, all right, it's really smart. It's got regenerative, regenerative um, battery charging as well. Um, and it's just very, very composed, right? Stop, start when you get to the uh, to the lights. Right, I will tell you that this car, just observing people on the street here, everybody looks at it. Everyone sees those calipers, uh, the acid green and the stance of the car, you know, the, the black menacing look of it. Um, and they know it's something special right away. Everybody's looking at it. Um, not so much young guys, but more, you know, more adults. I think people like more older gentlemen kind of look at this car. Um, you know, obviously young guys, I think, think you know, they see Porsche and they think, well, it's really, really cool. But I think, you know, older executives and, you know, successful businessmen, I think this is the car that they're sort of after. Um, so let's just, in e-power mode, let's try and put our foot down. Yeah, it's pretty quick. Pretty quick, it's got a little bit of power, for sure. Um, yeah, it's just so cool how you can go from being in e-mode to all of a sudden a flick of a switch and you're in like very aggressive sort of loud um, Sport Plus mode. So let's just give it a little flick here. Let's go over to Sport Plus. You can see the revs coming right up really quickly. And all of a sudden it's bang. It's just a little bit more responsive. I got immediate power at my foot right away. As soon as I put my foot down, it wants to go. Even though it's 5,000 pounds, you can feel it going right away. It doesn't feel labored whatsoever. Brakes are really, really, um, you know, what's the word, very grippy. They, they bite hard. Huge, huge brakes. You obviously saw them. Um, huge acid green uh, brake calipers. When you have a car this powerful and, and a heavy car, uh, sort of car, you need good brakes to stop that. And these, these definitely have very good stopping power. All right, sitting at a light here, looking at this absolute gorgeousness. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a pull for everyone out there that, that all you car guys that are out there, and I'm gonna try and hit the iPass button and see if it gives me something different. See if it gives me a little bit extra sort of pump. Okay, so let's hope that that Tesla way up there gets out of the way. This guy is not gonna be an issue. <laughs> and uh, we'll get into her. Here we go. ridiculous look at the rear view everyone's just gone so so when I hit that I when I hit that I pass button it gives you like another shot it's insane it gives you another little pump it's crazy let's try it let's try it again why not right let go here we go and I pass oh my god and we're doing mind-boggling speeds in like the blink of an eye. All right, let's take it a little bit easier. Let's take it a little bit easier. I will say that the car feels extremely, extremely composed and refined and, and smooth. It's everything it does. It glides over the bumps. It's, you know, it's, it's, um, you know, I've got the sunroof open, but it's, it's quiet. The interior is very quiet. Um, you know, the, the steering feels very tight. It feels like a Porsche. It's a big SUV looking type thing, but it has a lot of, of sort of little 911 sort of tendencies, right? It's, it's, I think this is why Porsche is such an amazing brand is they can take their, their learnings from their, their beautiful sports car, their 911s, their race cars, and they can trickle it down to their more executive sort of heavier cars. So, I think that's why this is such a high sort of high performance, high spec, 
high, you know, specific, specification, um, you know, high sought after sort of products because it, it really does give you the best of everything, right? Refinement, luxury, style, you know, you know, it's, it's, it's essentially more than one car in a car. You can be very quiet. You can, you can have everything that an electric Tesla has, but you can also have everything that a, that a German muscle car has, right? Um, so again, just suspension, beautiful, right? It glides, it's very comfortable, it's luxurious. Um, performance, get up and go, it's there, ticks that box. And when I wanna hit it, I'm not gonna hit it right now because I'm looking at a, um, a police officer across the way there, but um, it goes, it absolutely goes. So let's maybe just get up here a little bit, wait for we pass this cop. And then we'll put our foot down just a little bit. Here we go. It's, the performance is just, it's just there. It's, it's very, very quick, very, very quick. This wouldn't be a car review without an on-ramp pull. Let's go. Onto the brakes. Onto the brakes. Onto the brakes. Onto the brakes. We're gonna merge here. All right, so we'll give it a little bit of space and then let's hit it. goes this thing on the highway is so composed this thing when it's on the highway is like at home it cruises at speed just so effortless so effortless like look at how fast we're around everything here it's so easy what else? I mean, I'm looking at a beautiful steering wheel that kind of has everything I need. The steering feels tight, right? It, it, it fe again, it feels like Porsche. It feels like a sports car, but then I look around me and I've got luxury and, and, and space. It's just, it's phenomenal. It's hard to get my mind around these kind of, these type cars because it's, you know, driving it feels like it, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be able to do this. It shouldn't be able to be that nimble back and forth and that sporty. Shouldn't have this much pick up and go, right? Um, but it does, it does. It's a, it's a phenomenal car. Um, so, you know, those are my thoughts. Um, I think if you're in the market for a car like this and you can afford the luxury of this car, it's obviously coming in at a pretty high price point, so over six figures. If you can afford a car like this, I highly recommend it. I think it, it's a car that serves a number of purposes so it can be your daily driver it can be your sunday driver it can be a pick up your your kids from the from wherever they're doing from their their cricket club and they're ultimately you know they're they're totally taken care of back there they've got everything they need um so it does everything it's not one car you're essentially you're buying more than one car here and so the, i think that's where the price is justified and the, the price is certainly justified um this car is phenomenal so I'd like to thank my buddy VJ Connor for giving me a little go in here. Um, you know, it's been an amazing experience. Um, if you guys have enjoyed this video, if you've gotten something out of it, hit the like button. Uh, if you're subscribed, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're really helping the channel move forward. Um, if you haven't subscribed and you would like to do so, you know, hit that button, join the community. I'm always doing different videos, uh, bringing new things to the channel. We're, we're growing very, very quickly. Um, hit that like button as well. You know, I mean, show the algorithm that you that you like these videos, and it'll recommend you more of them. Okay, um, that's the Porsche Panamera uh, e hybrid. Um, hope to see you guys in the next video. This one's been amazing. All the best.